Welcome to the secret history living inside of your aquarium. Today the secret that we are checking out is watching this Tiger Endler, uh, which is from the King's Collection from Lucas Brett's uh, LRBAquatics.com if you'd like to purchase one, although I don't think you'll purchase one quite at this caliber, but if you'd like to purchase a Tiger Endler, he sure has some amazing ones. And this one right now is strutting his stuff as much as you can strut your stuff, basically, with his tail out, and then he'll pause to do his dance, and he's really trying to impress this female here. There's a group of females, but he's been uh, pretty much trying with one of them uh, for a while now, and so I thought I'd just film for a minute so you can see their kind of mating dance. And basically what you're looking at here is you're seeing him display his colors and he's turning from, you know, this kind of yellow color and then he'll he'll turn like more of a purple color uh which is his under her the the pigmentation under the outer pigmentation. So he has some sort of chromatophore that he can flex and thus change color plus blood flow. Now she is looks like she may be submit being in a submissive position now where she's just paused but it also appears that she may already be pregnant so he could be just sensing her pheromones uh yeah she's definitely already pregnant um which is interesting uh because evolutionarily the whole point of him doing this dance changing colors putting his fins out shaking which is uh actually a very, uh, it burns a lot of calories, so evolutionarily, when you see fish doing that, uh, it is a show of how worthy they are, or their uh, stamina, basically, how many calories they're willing to devote to the female fish to say, I love you, you know, you should uh, reproduce with me, I'm healthy. So, also the swimming backwards, there we go, there's the full display, you just caught it right there. So that's what you're looking for in a display when endlers or guppies mate, but it, it takes a lot of energy out of them, it also takes a lot of energy out of the females. If there were other males in the tank, he would be chasing them away, and actually today what we added are uh, some green rasboras and an auto synclus and so not that that's changed the dynamic of the tank a lot but you can see he's going around and trying to make sure that nobody messes with his territory and that he can come over here and show that he's a big shot he probably can't tell the difference between species uh of some of these other fish that are around the same size and he sees them as a threat to his um ultimate goal of impregnating the female. So what you'll see if if we catch it here in a moment, and I won't show you this too much longer, but basically what you'll see with this is he does this display and if the female is willing and able, she will then uh, kind of what they do is called flashing and they, they uh, turn and twist themselves and flick their body so that it the light reflects off them, and then they'll start chasing the male after the male's been chasing them for like a half hour to two hours sometimes. Sometimes it can be days before he tries to mate with the most fit female. And he'll mate with the other females, but he'll usually, even if she's already pregnant, try to mate with the female because with guppies and endlers, live bearers in general, when they've mated, they can actually store that... Uh, fertile sperm, they can actually store that within their body for up to three pregnancies. So if a female, even a, a not completely mature female, is exposed to male endlers and she deems his uh, <clears throat> DNA worthy, she will store it in a little section of her um, body, a little pouch, and she can then select from that. And she can actually keep multiple males. And there's some debate, but it appears that they can also select the healthiest uh, sperm or DNA out of that. And use it sometimes up to like three, four, five months in the future when they're alone. And after they've already given birth to the first batch. So rather interesting and a great 
survival and adaptation trick. Um, the females, on the other hand, the male likes to see that big belly um, and a healthy uh, pearline luster. Also, the fact that she is fending him off or hiding and swimming away, it shows him that she has the energy and persistence to put up with his nonsense, which just shows that both fish are healthy if they're able to do this uh, dance. And in the meanwhile, you'll see other fish coming in, and sometimes they want a piece of the action at towards the end of the uh, exchange. But essentially what you're about to see here or if we filmed another half hour, I don't, you know, it could be at any moment, is he will take uh, his gonopodium, which is his long stick-like fin near his uh, anus, and he will take that and he'll put a packet of fertilized, you know, or fer fertile sperm in it, and he'll basically swim up under her or beside her, depending on how willing she is, and he'll tuck that up under her and depending on how she's feeling she'll either take that and try to um kind of shimmy with her her under fins which are triangular shape and kind of fan it into her uh i don't know i don't want to say womb but into her uh uh gravid spot which is the dark spot you see near the anus of female fish. Um, also, you're just getting a great show here. One of the best quality uh, tiger endlers you're going to see, and uh, you're getting to see them in do his thing in his full effect. So it's pretty cool. You can see his tail's turned white from blue to white with like kind of an orange and red strike streak now. So he's going through all his tricks trying to convince this female uh, of what she should do. So even though she's already pregnant, he could... Uh, in theory, she could terminate the ones she has in her, and she could use his DNA uh, and fertilize the next batch. So it's pretty interesting how that works, and live bears all kind of work semi-similarly. -sim but I just wanted to show you guys this, uh, because it's an interesting moment that's sometimes hard to capture the actual moment. I have another video from when the channel started back in uh, late December and you could actually see when he swims up beneath her and quickly tucks in that sperm package thus fertilizing the female so it looks like he's probably about to do that at any time now and uh, he can only do that so often so that's another show of willingness and uh, the amount of energy he's willing to put into impressing her so all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, circle of life. Cue the Lion King music. And uh, I will talk to you later. Take care of yourselves, your fish. And if you see them doing this, you know, turn down the lights. Put on a little uh, maybe Al Green. I could feel some Al Green maybe. And uh, leave them alone. Let them do their thing. I feel like a, a bit of a sleazy voyeur right now. All right, guys, <laughs> take care of yourselves and your fish. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Swim on.